here you coming home Friday, so I've been catching some snapping turtles on limb lines, so we might just have us some fried tur- snapping turtle. And your mother's here, she's stemming gooseberries. Maybe we'll have fried turtle and gooseberry pies. So all good old turtle. So we'll see you then, bub. Bye. Boy. <laughs> No wonder they don't mind him not showering. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now you know where he learned his hygiene. I mean, in a way, it sounds very sweet. Like, that's it such is. a wonderful homecoming, you know, the, down on the range. Like, gee, son, you're going to visit us, and we, we just caught a turtle. We're really? going to cook it and eat it. <laughs> a real middle America, like, hey. You, know. you want to call up and go, you know what, would you... If I don't come home, would you just get rid of that turtle? And... <laughs> Snapping turtle. Pie. Mm. And gooseberry. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. <laughs> That's got to be like rabbit shit. I guess. It gooseberry. Like a gooseberry. Yeah. What the fuck is a gooseberry? It's like a round turd. Perfectly round turd. It's like It looks like tricks. Snapping turtle and gooseberry pie. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Good vacation coming up. I'd stay at work. Yeah, you know, I'd go to the airport and go, what's the direct opposite direction than Kansas? That's where I'm going. Yeah, it's got to be Mexico, right? <laughs> I'm going to Acapulco, baby. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to have a good time on vacation. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't believe my dad's enticing me with that turtle. <laughs> it's actually not as bad as it sounds. It's kind of like uh, gizzards or liver or something like that, if you're into that. Gizzards of what? Oh, yeah. Uh, like chicken gizzards. Guess what? We're not into that. That's what a gooseberry <laughs> is? No, that's what a turtle tastes like. No, I'm asking you what. Oh, so turtle's like he's getting that because it's your favorite. No, it's not my favorite, but it's something you can't get around here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, I'm sure of that. Sure. <laughs> you couldn't go to any swamp and get a turtle. I used to say you could get anything around here, but not no. that. Snapping turtle. Snapping gyro. Not a snapping turtle. Gooseberry's like kind of a, a sour type berry that uh, I think it's green and, and it's real like kind of makes your mouth pucker, but it's really good. All right. Well, you know what else you can't get around here? Lynched by a redneck. <laughs> it sounds like how long are you going to be there? A week? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's good for you, man. I haven't fun. seen him nice since Christmas, so mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, well, there's a turtle waiting to be eaten by you. Yeah. Oh, I might even catch some myself when I'm there. Mm, Go set turtle. limb lines with my dad. All right. It'll be fun. Yeah. Turtles. Turtles and bullfrogs. And we don't have to shower for a week. <laughs> None of us. It's no showering. Does Unless dad, it rains. Does your dad like wait days before he showers? Uh, like you? Yeah. He showers four times a year. <laughs> Is that where you uh, learned all that? Yeah, I can't remember how often he showers. I never really paid attention. I saw him take a dump a lot because he'd leave the door open. When Mom's see that, pussy but... done crusted over. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta come here and see it. Gonna have a turtle eat away the crust. No, I know I remember my mom showering. Yeah, I lot, hope so, man. Yeah. yeah, girls need to do that, man. Yeah, I think it's so more of a girl sometime, thing. Sometime, it's a guy thing. Showering's a girl thing? Yeah. Right? We're gonna eat the cheese off my penis with the turtle when you come. We're gonna scrape it off and turn it into cheese pies. Showering's more of a girl thing? Yeah. We use it as a cracker spread. Showers are for girls. <laughs> Back in the Wild West, the good old days. Gonna didn't need to your, shower. Gonna take your mom to Mount Pilot with Gober and Howard Spray. It wasn't that they didn't need to shower. It wasn't convenient. They didn't have it. Well, it wasn't convenient for me in Florida because I had to do it with a garden hose. Mm. That's where I kind of built up this uh, this the crust. Yeah, <laughs> the crud, the creeping crud. Believe me, in the old west, they needed to shower. <laughs> Did you ever have impetigo? Because that usually comes from people who don't shower. Uh, I used to get real bad um, uh, rashes in my behind, like in my cheeks. <laughs> I what do they bet. call that? Chafed? I used to get chafed, yeah. Right. Well, good. All right. Well, have a good trip home. Okay, thanks. Oh, good. Eric, the, I asked uh, the guys to get in touch with Eric the Midget. Eric. Hello. Some people don't want me to call you anymore. They say you're boring, but I disagree. I think this whole thing about whether you'll fly or not is great. And we'll keep it happening. Happen. How much you want to bet it's going to happen? When I tell you my news, I think it is going to happen. I told you yeah, I know... I know you better than you know you. You ready? Okay. You want to see? All right, Gary, just forward the picture, not the chick's information. All right. I got a picture of a girl. She looks like, you ever see Kelly Ripa? Yeah. Okay. Picture Kelly Ripa, that hot, that blonde. 
She writes me a note saying that her name's uh, Valerie, and she's a um, like a live-in nurse. Yeah. So she's worked with guys like Artie's dad, who was a you know quadriplegic, and guys like you who are in wheelchairs and stuff. And she goes, I'm a really sexy nurse. I'm not a dirty girl. I'm not like you know a hooker or a whore. I'm a nurse. But I listen to the show regularly. And she kind of said, hey, you know, if Eric ever visits the show, I wouldn't mind being part of his, like, entourage. And I thought, oh, what the hell does that mean? So we called her, and she's saying, look, she doesn't know if she'd have sex with you, but she'd go out on a really sexy date with you, this chick Valerie. And she's saying, right. like, I'm not opposed, like, like if something happened where, you know, like Eric and I hit it off, well, that's one thing. I'm, I'm not going to promise him sex or anything because I'm not that kind of girl, but... She'll get to know him. So then I took another look at the pictures, and this chick is hot. Now, I don't know if it's just a good picture or what, but I'm going to send you the picture. Okay. And I guarantee I'll hook you up with this chick. If you fly. If you fly. Wow. Here, Holy look, shit. you tell Eric, and, don't, and it ain't coming from me. Here's from Artie. Eric? Oh, wait, who's the one you um, respect? Benji? That the one you're, who's your pal? Yeah. All right, here, give this to Benji and let him comment on this. Tell Eric what you think of that chick's looks. For the record, she's smoking, but here's Benji. Hey, Eric. Hi, Benji. Hey, man. She's very, very cute, sexy, hot, wholesome looking. This is a great looking girl. Ha. Got your interest there, little man? Maybe. Ah. <laughs> I'll send you the uh, pictures. You tell me if it ain't worth getting up on some balloons and flying around the studio. Like I said on the message I just left on Will's voicemail, if you even consider putting that cartoon on your channel, that's the last straw. You haven't seen oh, the cartoon. You haven't seen it. Hey, I don't give a crap if I've seen it or not. I've heard the audio of it. I don't want it on. Uh, I'm putting it on. Who are you? I could put it on. Okay, then absolutely no way, Mike. You're gonna, you're gonna forget about this girl. You don't even want to see the pictures. You're gonna. You don't want me to send you the pictures of this chick? I'd like to see the ah. picture. Ah, oh no! I thought it was the last straw. See, I told you I know you better than than you know you. No, you don't. I do. You're gonna fly. Remember yesterday you said when hell freezes over, you're gonna fly. Hell must be freezing. Here, I just emailed you the pictures. Check your email right now while you're talking to me. Take a look at this chick. You tell me if you're not going to fly. Uh, mm -hmm. Hang on. My yeah, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, got a boner. I told you this this guy's fly. He's too easy. Yeah. He wants romance. Now, this chick might give him romance. I don't mean, you know, who knows? She's not opposed to somebody with a handicap. But has she seen Eric? I don't know. I gotta get on the AOL. All right. Go ahead. Take your time. I can wait. Satellite. <laughs> I don't have to worry about average quarter hour maintenance. <laughs> you know, I'm not Robert W. Morgan back in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not AOL. Charlie the. What? AOL never logged off. <laughs> AOL never logged off? What does that mean? You mean you're still logged on from last night? Yeah, I told it to log off. Sometimes you got to click on it, not tell it. You know, a lot of people well, don't listen hey, to you. I got. <laughs> AOL doesn't even listen to what you say. <laughs> okay, I did. I, 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 log I, off. Fuck off. Log off. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Log off. Fuck you. <laughs> you got that email from me? Yeah. Open it up. Think you're going to be impressed. <laughs> he just yeah, she's good looking. Yeah. Oh. Oh, stop. She's good looking. She's hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and she says here she wanted to be part of your entourage, and then when we called her about it, she was kind of like, hey, you know, look, I'm not guaranteeing anything. I mean, I'd love to go out on a date with Eric. Which is what you always said you wanted to do. Yeah. I mean, this chick was saying all the right things. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine you nail that piece of ass? Yeah. In other words, she doesn't find you annoying. 
she hears you on the radio and thinks romance. I mean, that's got to blow your mind. This could be it. This could be the one. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Guarantee as soon as we hang up, you're taking those pictures and beating off with them. No, I'm going to sleep because I haven't been to sleep yet. What do you do all night? <laughs> I was trying to get through all the messages on MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> he does, he does oh, the my. nerd coke, MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's addictive, huh? Is that like your coke? No. You can't get off it and go to sleep. <laughs> He's up all night. <laughs> I've been doing the nerd loser cocaine, MySpace. Oh, you know what losers are. Still be hard. Yes. Ooh. And he says you're one. Nope. This could be your ticket to a full-size girl, dude. Eric, I'll fly if you will. Artie will fly with you. We're going to need 4,000 balloons. <laughs> I don't know if we can get all those balloons in here. Honestly, Artie, I don't know if I can get you off the ground. I mean, no offense. I'm trying to get him in it. Uh, Eric, we got, Eric, we got a shot. I don't know about you. The room is only so large. I'm trying to get Eric under any circumstance. What do you say, little buddy? Nope. Don't Not want her? Gonna do it. Not going to do it. Don't want anything to do with it. You don't want to go out with that girl. All right. Fair enough. He's a, he's a fag. <laughs> Try to fuck your computer again. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Sorry we beat you yesterday, too, Eric. What do you mean? Yanks won. Well, the A's had the day off, so it didn't count. <laughs> He's always got a way around it. So you're telling me no flying and you don't want to meet this girl? What if I put her on the phone to you right now? You could talk a little to her. Yeah, I guess you could do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gary, any way you can hook me up with this chick right now? or is she? We're trying to call her right now. All right. Give me one second, Eric. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I believe you will fly. I believe you will fly. I think I got a new uh, Eric song. I can't even keep track. I don't even know where all of my Eric songs are. See, that's the kind of shit that's ruining it for you, though. Mm -hmm. That says a lot of your Eric songs are on the Eric page. You got your own page, dude. In my computer. So many songs there are about you. Let, let me tell you right now. <laughs> Back when I did agree to this, doing this balloon thing, was when it was low-key... <laughs> no big deal, and there was no stupid costumes involved. Then, for some reason, you had to up it to being ridiculous. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't say you had to wear a costume. I said we we're going to put you in a helmet. You wanted when, that. When you were on the phone with myself and that balloon lady. Well, you, you should have. You, you should me in a Superman costume with a little thing <laughs> in, in my private area. For your safety. If you don't want to wear the costume, I don't care. It's up to you. I thought it would be make it more fun, but you don't need a costume. Do it in your street clothes. I just thought it would have made you feel more powerful to do it in costume. Yeah, we thought you'd feel like Superman. Yeah. I'm trying to get a hold of a, a little person that I look up to, trying to see what his thoughts are on this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can get a little person on the phone right now. Oh, Eric, Beatles you should talk to Eric, by the way. One of his big fears about doing this is he's afraid that it's going to jeopardize his standing in the, I believe it's the LPA, Little People of America organization. Yeah, aren't you running for office in Little People of America? No, I haven't even joined yet. No, he's afraid that they won't take him as a member. Oh, sure you're thinking will. of joining and you could be rejected. Oh, big deal. You don't need them. What do you need Little People of America for? What have they ever done for you? Because there's a lot of cool people in Little People of America. Wait, there's a guy on the phone says he's a, he's a little person. I'm a little person. Yeah, right, Howard. I think you should fly. Howard, that's you on the megaphone. Come on now. No. <laughs> My name is Brad. I, I live in Albany. I, I've been a member... 
LPA for 20 years. I, okay, here's the question. Uh, okay. When, when is the next national convention? In September. Wrong. You're not an LPA no, member. I'm an LPA so board I, member. We have our board meeting in September. I, I was told by somebody that the next meeting is not the national convention is not September. It's next week. Yeah, well, that's for regular members. This is for board members in September, which is the only meeting I go to. But I was talking and about... And it'll be in Milwaukee along with the other one. And our president... Angela Van Etten will be there herself. Yeah, well, thank you for calling in. So there's a guy who says that you um, should do it. Howard, I didn't even hear you hit that sound when you put somebody on the air. <laughs> I don't know. I did. One. I put them on the air. I don't know what, what's wrong with your hearing. Is it true LPA stands for losers, pussies, and assholes? Oh, hey, that's not funny. <laughs> Fly me with balloons so I can meet Catherine McVie. What happened to that girl? Yeah. We, we can't get a hold of her, Howard. No. no, we'll All have right. to arrange that. Then. I'll arrange it for tomorrow, Eric. Okay? Okay. All right. Bye for now. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> no. No, that's my new slogan. Bye for now. That's fine. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye for now. Uh, Howard, do you want one more song? Sure. Go to Gary, preview page two. Just about Eric? Of course. Right below the two yellow ones, it's in gray. I just want to fly. <laughs> I'm a midget in the sky. I'm a midget in the sky. I'll do anything to me. Catherine McPhee. You know how much I love her. I worship at her feet because I can't reach her knees. I'll float around the studio like an airborne budgie toad. I just want to fly. Strap balloons around me, baby. Eh, balloons around me, baby. Eh, I just want to fly like a midget in the sky. Strap balloons around me, baby. Eh, balloons around me, baby. That's a good one. You like that? No, Sugar Ray's version was better. All right. All right I'm going to hook you up with this chick tomorrow, then you make your decision. All right? Whatever. Okay. What if we get Sugar Ray to come in and record I'm a Midget in the Sky? Okay. I will do it. <laughs> That'll happen. Hey, I think Mark McGrath's a little too busy with extra TV right now. No, I don't wait think so. And see. That doesn't look like that requires all that much yeah, time. That extra. Wait and see. I can get him to do it. Hold on, Eric. Ah. What? What do you got? We got her. Oh. oh. Hey, Eric. Here's that chick. This is going to get you going. I'm telling you, you're going to fly. What line, Gary? No, they're just talking to her now. They just got her. Hold on. I'm hooking you up with a real girl who doesn't find you repulsive in any way. Let me tell you, it took years before I found a woman that didn't find me repulsive. <laughs> you were a little bit harder, Eric. You were a little harder, but not that much. <laughs> yeah, I still can't figure out why Bethel doesn't find you repulsive. No. You're just better. That wasn't nice. That was mean. <laughs> that hurt my feelings. Line 22, Howard. Thank you. Here we go, Eric. You ready? I think this is the one. You've seen her picture now. Hear her voice. Hello. Hello. Hi. Eric. Hi. Is this Valerie? This is. All right, Valerie. First of all, um, thank you for coming on the air. You're very welcome. We How got your you? we got your pictures. Just tell tell me a few things about yourself, and then talk to Eric directly. 
Okay. I am 27. Okay. I'm an ex-Hooter girl. Okay. I am now a nurse in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to law school. Wow. By, by the way, by your picture, is that like a really good picture of you? or No, that's a, actually, those were the bitches at work put those up on the Internet for some ungodly known reason, and those are like four years ago. I look a hell of a lot better now. I run marathons now. What do you weigh? I weigh like maybe 124. I'm five seven and a half. Oh, mm. tall. I have, I have D-cup boobies. Wow. Well, yeah, let, let me introduce you. Anyway, I'm a runner. Let me introduce you to Eric the Midget. Eric, I'm going to stay out of this. You do your magic, okay? And you're Hello. Good morning. Eric. Good morning, sunshine. Why are you being such a little prick? Are you going to come hang out with me? I don't know. I. You don't know. That's, that's not an answer I accept. Well, hanging out with you wouldn't be the bad part. The other part would be the bad part. What would be the other part, Eric? He's talking about having, having to do that balloon stunt. Well, listen, I'm a nurse, and I do trauma, and I've worked with pediatrics, and I actually take care of a vet patient who's a quadriplegic. And he said he would do it, and he's like 180 pounds. So, I mean... Let you me know, understand let... something, Valerie. I, I, I mean, Eric's too shy to ask you this. <clears throat> you would go yeah. out with him? I would go out. I would take him out and... We would go dancing and do whatever the hell he wanted to do. I, I can party, let me tell you. And put down some drinks. And so you would drink with him, you would treat him like a... Like a king. Uh, and also like a date. Like a date, like a real I date. Would, I would really go on a date with him. Not a goofy date, not a one-time stunt. Date. If you no. liked Eric and, you know, things were cool and you were talking and having kind of fun together, you would see him again. I definitely would, absolutely. And you would give him your phone number, and you you wouldn't just lead him on. You would actually kind of. He can have my phone number right now. Wow. Well, I'm not giving it to him until he agrees to fly. <laughs> Listen, Eric, I I'll make you a deal. We'll go out, we'll hang out, we'll eat some good food, we'll have some drinks, and then I will come with you, and I will stand by you when you float on balloons. Hmm. And I won't let anything happen to you. How's that for a good What time? are you wearing right now? I'll, I'll even get naked when you do it. You would? Oh, hell yeah. What are you wearing right now, honey? What am I wearing? I actually just went and got myself a couple of Red Bulls, so I have um, some little booty shorts on and a T-shirt and no, no, no bra. And you don't have a boyfriend? I d well, you know, not really, no. Could I just started talk talking to a, a cop, but... Could you be attracted to a little person? Could I? You know, anything's possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of assholes out there, so, you know, if he's going to be a nice guy, then... Hmm. Eric, well, this would be well, like thanks. you... You would be David Blaine. You would be doing your <laughs> stunt, and a beautiful girl would be there supporting you. That is true. I mean, David Blaine got into a basically a bathtub, and every <laughs> yeah. hot chick on the planet was there, and this hot chick is all of a sudden turned on by your fame and your, your ability to fly. <laughs> You'd be like David Blaine if he was an odd-looking midget. <laughs> Do you have yeah. to put that in? What, what, quality, what qualities? Hey, Howard, yeah. just a sec. Artie, you know, it's comments like that that really make me not want to do this. <laughs> yeah, Artie's the one. Could you shut up, Artie? Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. <laughs> Eric, don't listen to Artie. they got to fuck with you. You know, that's, that's their job. But listen, here's the deal. Well, thank I you. Mean, why don't we put Eric in a little fishbowl instead of flying him? Thanks for explaining my job. Like David Blay, we stick him in water, see how long he can hold his breath. Scuba thing on. <laughs> Tell him I'm so naked with him. And and here's the thing, though. You're wearing booty shorts right now? Yeah. So you got a really nice ass, huh? It's all right. Yeah, I run. I run marathons. Could you send us some more provocative? I know you're not going to send us naked pictures, but could you send us like more sexy pictures so I could send them to Eric? Sure. Why not? All right. I'll have to get myself a little. Photo shoot in my bed or something. All right, that's cool. Um, yeah, but you know, Eric, seriously, I mean, you're passing up some opportunities that people would fucking pay money for. Seriously, I, you need to step up to the plate here, kiddo. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime, you know. What's the wildest thing you ever did sexually? Oh shit! You got like three hours. Really? You're that much oh, of a player, God. huh? You shit for like three hours? No, I said you had three hours. Well, what'd you do? Oh God, I've done everything. Girl on girl. Crazy. I um, I managed a strip. I used to uh, 
be a little wild child, and I did a few drugs, and I've uh, been with a few women. Girl on girl, huh? Um, many girls on girls. <laughs> Would you ever do that in front of Eric? Would you yeah. ever bring a, Let's say you go out with Eric. You guys hit it off. Would you ever bring girls into the whole situation? You know what, Howard? Life, you only live once, and I've seen too many people get their brains splattered across the sidewalk, so I will, I'm open-minded to do pretty much anything. Hmm. I like that you answer. Yeah. Life is short. you got to live it up. Eric, are you listening Eric to me? Eric would prefer you didn't say life is short. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, what do you think? Don't worry, Eric. Bigger isn't always better. Mm, like that answer. These are all the right words. When you're little, like, you know, down there like me, bigger isn't always better. So. Would you be comfortable lifting Eric onto a toilet? Uh, absolutely. I, you know, I take care of a quad. I'm at his house right now, and I mm. <clears throat> wipe his ass every day. So I, I lift him up every day, Eric. He's 180 pounds. I got some guns, so don't worry about me not being able to catch you and you fall from the balloons. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Just imagine you fall into her arms. That's not so bad. And I got a D cup, so you know you got plenty of. You got a D cup. On. I got a D cup. Is that an actual D cup or an implant? It's an actual. Never wow. had a knife to my body. Huh. Never will. Well, Eric will put a knife to your body. <laughs> oh yeah. That's right. That sounds kind of hot. <laughs> can that quadriplegic talk? Yes, he can. Let me speak to him. All right, hold on a second. Now Smith will come on the air with us. He wants to talk to you. Howard. Wants to talk to you, Ken. <laughs> hold on. Ken Howard wants to talk to you. Eric, you Trace. still there? Yes. Trace on. Hold on, let me see what this chick's all about. I'll check her out for you. All right, turn it down, Judy. All right, he's on a vent, so I'll put the phone up to him, okay? Okay. Hold on one second. You ever sit on his face? Hello. Hey, how you doing, brother? Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you, Howard? All right. This chick hot or what? Yeah, she's all right. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You, have, you you never did her, did you? No, she, no, I'm married. Oh, you're married. <laughs> but she's yeah. hot looking? Yeah, she is. Wow. What, you think she'd date Eric the Midget for real? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's been talking about it for a while. We, we've been uh, talking about this. Uh, she started listening to you. Uh, she started working for me. she a good wiper? Yeah. Uh, you know, you were talking once about uh, uh, the... Uh, uh, in the Foley catheter, the catheter that goes in your penis. Yeah. She can tell you a good story about when she put up the catheter in me and I uh, blew my... <laughs> you blew your load? You blew my urethra. Um, ruptured my urethra. Oh, dear. <laughs> she ain't that good at it, huh? Yeah, no, no. Not intentional. Right. <laughs> then she wipes your ass, right? Yeah. And, and when you have to take a dump, does she pull it out of your ass? Yeah. She does. Yeah. She's a good woman. That's a good woman. And she's hot, huh? Yeah, she is, yeah. And she got D cups? Oh yeah, yeah. And she's wearing short shorts right now? Are you looking at my Are you looking at my kids? No, no, like no your shorts. No, uh oh. Uh oh, yeah, the guy just yeah. <laughs> flatlined. <laughs> what? All right, so she pulls the duty out of your ass. Yeah. No kidding. Boy, that's a good girl right there. Yeah. Yeah, not everybody's going to do that for you. Hey, let me talk to her. All right. Thanks, man. What up? You pull the duty out of his ass, he said. I do. Yeah, that's every, cool. Every other day, I dig his ass out. Oh. You dig it out with your hand? With my finger, yeah. Oh. You pull out the turds? I pull out the turds one at a time. <laughs> Would you ever eat? <laughs> How much does that pay? They pull out what are you talking? What are you talking about over there, Robin? I can uh, hear you. Uh. How much? She wants to know how much that pays. <laughs> um, I make uh, up, upwards of close to thirty dollars an hour. Bet. Better. I say that should be a hundred dollars an hour. Well, yeah. that's what we're going to charge you. You're a saint. <laughs> hey, Eric, a regular girl, player, fun, not turned off to a guy in a chair. What do you think? You got to be impressed. It sounds interesting, but I still have to think a little further about this whole thing. Hey, Eric, how about I come out and see you, and we go hang out? Hell no, not until he flies a balloon. No. Well, then I'm not, I'm, not, your... I'm not turning you on to him until the balloons start flying. Well, you better get your ass in there, Eric, and fly those balloons. 
Eric, that chick wants to hang out with you even with you just to go visit you. Yeah, she's not even making you do anything. You would be my hero. If you flew this balloon, you'd be my hero. I'd forever be indebted to you. Wow. You'd be the sexiest man. He's flying. I say my money's right. I know yeah. I know this guy. Yeah. He's flying. You gotta be hard now, Eric. Come on. Eric, I told you you'd fly. I told you. Remember when I said you'd fly? I yeah. saw it. Remember I told you I was five years old and I had a dream that one day I would fly a midget in the air with balloons? And I knew it was you? <laughs> and you said no way and hell would freeze over? You're gonna do it. Well, hell's gonna freeze over. Eric, you're gonna fly when you got D cups waiting for you to land. Come on. If he had the courage to do it, it would turn you on, wouldn't it? I think it'd be pretty sexy. No. Of course it is. Anytime a man flies, it's, it's sexy. sexy. On balloons. Why do you think Superman's going to be the biggest movie this summer? Yeah, and Lois Lane <laughs> can't get over that guy. Anytime Lois you tie balloons to a little man and he flies, it's sexy. <laughs> Why do men yeah. do anything? To turn women on. The broads, that's it, right? right? Why do we work? Every yeah. Day? Shower. I mean, reason I do, I, sh I show up every day so Beth will stay with me. Why do you think Richard showers once a month? <laughs> I, you know, I don't really care if a man works. If he stays home and lets me blow him six times a day, then I'm a happy girl. Whoa, Eric. Oh, you see, boy, honey, you are saying the right things. That's me, Eric. You, you could get rid of that guy you live with, Eric. Move her in, blowing you, jerking you off. Flying up in balloons. balloons. We, can take a hot air, we can take a hot air balloon ride. Who knows what can happen in the sky, you know? Boy, you're a sexy little minx. So you going to have to worry about you cheating on him? Fuck no. No? All right. I'm a one-man woman. Well, and maybe a couple girls here and there. You totally shaved? Uh-huh. No, not Brazilian wax. Brazilian wax, so your whole taint and bunghole are completely oh. hair-free. Hair-free. You hear I that, Eric? I'm not a fan of hair. <laughs> Eric, did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, thank you. I, I bet your little head is exploding. <laughs> hey, next time you get wax, can you do it in here? I absolutely would. You would? I would love to. Oh, my God. I would love to. Can I bring my girl from the, from the spa? Yeah. She's, she's really good. Yeah. Rip the hairs out of your ass. That'll be hot. <laughs> she's hot, too. You into anal sex? No, you know, not so much. See, she's a good girl, Art. I think them. there's a, I think there's, you know, three or four other places to put a guy's cock. So, I think. I, I only think count we'll two. Yes, yeah, three. What are three four? or four? My tits, my mouth, my hand. That's three. Right? Mm, there you go. Oh, and okay, you're right. And my, and my coots. That's four. All right. Yeah. Preferably in the mouth, but you know. You mean? like it in the mouth. I will, oh God, that's my, my ass. Uh, and what do you do? Do you play with yourself while you have a man in your mouth? You know, a little bit of everything, I guess. Whatever happens in the moment. Can you be yeah. a lady around Eric's parents? You know what? I'm I'm a lady until I'm alone somewhere with a boy. I'm going to tell you something. Fuck Eric. I'll fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric. I am. I'm screw you. This is a crazy woman, man, but yet... Classy, good job. Very classy. Does other classy. girls? I was, I was raised in a nice Catholic family. I went to boarding school. Hmm. Yeah, Italian. So nice. Nice flat stomach too, I bet. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Has, has to be. Can you? I don't, I don't dig. I don't dig belly fat either. I'm not a fan of belly fat. Well, I guess that counts me out. I was going to say, Eric. Uh, no, actually, on men, you know what? On men, it's kind of sexy. Oh, okay. I don't like uh, right, answer. Okay. right answer. Right answer. I don't like bumping my head on the ribs, you know? Yeah, yeah. I got to have some pillow up there to. Are you hear anything wrong with this chick? No. I, can you cook? I was just about to say. Can I cook? Yeah. I was raised in the kitchen sitting on the sink with my mom. Wow. Italian. <laughs> I can shit. Eric was raised sitting on a sink, too. <laughs> You mean sitting in the sink? Eric, where are you in this conversation? No, that, that picture is very hot, too. Uh, no kidding. Uh, no, oh, God, that was, I was Eric, like you should be, Eric, you should be pushing me aside and taking Eric. over. Yeah, Eric, come on, step up to the plate, dude. He's about to take your woman, Eric. Didn't you hear him? He's going to fly. I bet you this... Yeah, Eric, if you don't fly, I'm going to go on a date with Artie. How do you like that? Eric's whacked it six times already, I bet. <laughs> is that what you're doing back there, Eric? No. No? Can I get a little... Uh, Come on, Eric. Honey, I would um, teach you, I would teach you a lesson. Let me tell you. 
and shut that I'm mouth gonna, up. I'm going to spank him so hard. Eric, what are you doing over there? Are you going to yeah. talk to me? Do you care if Eric calls you Kelly Clarkson in bed and pretends you're Kelly Clarkson? Baby, you can call me anything you want. What do you think of that, Eric? Oh, call Kelly. Me. Eric, just... <laughs> do you hear me? I said just call me. Eric, you can right. even call me Catherine. All right, I'll tell you what, Valerie. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to talk to my man here, okay? All right. All right, baby. Got some sense into him. Right, thank Have you. a good day, guys. We'll be Bye. in touch, believe Where me. Where is he? Is he still there? I don't know. He completely dropped know. out of the conversation. He's so intimidated by girls. No, he's probably busy doing something. Are you touching yourself? No. He's like, <laughs> no. Hold on. Uh, Valerie, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Thank you. Excellent proposal. Very nice. Dude. I'm here. It's the best I can do, man. You're never going to get a better opportunity. You tell me what's wrong with this picture. The fact that you still want me to do the balloon thing. No. Well, you got to do something. We're doing deal. everything. Five minutes. Ten minutes in the air. Fly me with balloons. Three minutes in the air. What am I talking about? Come on. Yeah, you don't have to be up there that long. What are we going to do with gotta, it for ten yeah, minutes? you got to get a good look at you up there. She wants it. There's no question. And she'd actually go on a date with you. She'd, like, consider you. The reason why I wasn't saying anything is because if, if my show proved anything, I'm not that great of an interviewer. <laughs> yeah, but you got to get something going with a girl. I mean, you, you can't... you got to talk. If you sit there on a date and don't say anything, you know, if you just talk American Idol crap, you're going to lose this chick, as motivated as she is. But I can only get the wheels in motion. All right, look. There you go. Okay? Okay. I'll think about it. All right. Get back to me by tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> he actually gets depressed. I know. I told him he was going to fly. I'm a midget in the sky. Eh. I'm a midget in the sky. I'll do anything to me. Catherine McPhee. You know how much I love her. Hey, I worship at her feet. Cause I can't reach her knees. I'll float around the studio. Like an airborne budgie toad. I just wanna fly. Strap balloons around me, baby. Balloons around me, baby. Hey, I just wanna fly like a midget in the sky.